Hey everyone, let's play some games today. I'm playing the Temple Warrior. It has not gone too well for me in ranked lately, so uh, let's put on our serious face and win some games with the Warrior. Alright, where's the priest? Uh, let's see here. So I really like keeping a weapon versus a priest, especially since I already have a 2 drop and I could potentially coin into Death's Bite on turn 3. So this is a respectable hand. I wouldn't mind getting like another 2 drop or maybe a Harvest Golem, but overall this works. And now I do have another 2 drop. Let's see here. Okay, so he did not play the Undertaker. Do I play an Amani here? Or do I go for the Amani turn 2? Death by turn 3. I don't have a free drop, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. End turn here. Is someone injured? Uh, not super happy to see that. Well, I'm even less happy to see it. <laughs> Five e war axe. Well, that would have been great. Now I wish I had played that money. <laughs> I would have played that money if I had that 5 year works, but I did not at the time. So... I think I will play the Amani. And then, if he really wants to attack it with his priest, and then heal the priest, he can do that. Because then I will have a 5-2 to kill the cleric with. Alright, so I think it is time to coin out Death Spite. Is there anything else I could do? I could... Oh, this is interesting. I could Whirlwind, kill that, kill that with 5 e wax and not even use the coin. In fact, I think that's a very good move. Do this. Kill that. There we go. Yeah. That worked out. And now I have to coin for like a sludge bulge your next turn, possibly. Mind if I roll need? Oh. Wait. What? Okay. I don't think... Hmm, I guess he has no way to deal one damage. I think I might just run that into that. That heal did not seem... good. Because now I didn't have to use the firebox. Sure, he didn't take 5 damage, but he's like at full life. So it's not really about me trying to rush him down. I can, he might think that I'm an Aqua Warrior, but I'm not really an Aqua Warrior. Okay, let's see here. Um, I really want to kill that. I'm actually tempted to to play Death Spite here because then I don't have to trade that in. But on the other hand, if I do attack with everything, on, oh, I could just not kill it this turn. That's actually perfectly viable. Let's just play a whole bunch of stuff, and he might steal one with Cabal Shadow Piece next turn. But if he does that, I can kill whatever he steals with the axe. I guess, unless it's the Harvest Golem, but then at least I can kill the first form of it. And the second form I can Let kill with the Amani. Right. Okay, that, that was alright. So let's see. How do I do this exactly? I have Slam. I also have Arching Commander. So from that into that, finish it off with this. I have Slam. Run that and slam that, finish it off with that. Or the axe. Let's slam first. Uh, 
Oracle Taskmaster. Could do that and that to kill that. Uh, so we do this. Oh, I also have. Well, okay, let's do this. I think it's gonna that into that. Draw a card. Do this and that. Kill that, and I guess just armor. Wow, what a complicated turn. But I think it worked out pretty all right. Okay. Mm. Well, that's kind of annoying. Like, it's just five damage is tough for me to deal with. I can deal four damage easily, but five. Hmm. Let's see. How do I do this? Do I play the axe? Hmm. No, I think I play the Adian Commander because then next turn I can play Corcoran and the Axe. So if I. But the thing is. Okay, you know what? This is alright. I guess I get rid of the first form here. And I still have to taunt that. So hopefully he will not be able to kill my Adian Commander with his Sumpy Chow. Well, let's see what happens here. Bring out your he doesn't have that many cards. Happy about that. Okay. Right, I can clear the board rather easily. Um, I'll just play Death's Bite. The Corcoran. That kind of sets me up for a really nasty Holy Nova though. Yeah, so let's do it. But then this dies. Okay, I have this. Like, you know what? Let's do it this way. Because I would lose that to Death's Bite anyway, the 2 1. And this way, now this doesn't die to Holy Nova. I mean, Holy Nova would only kill the Avian Commander, so. Okay. Looks like I have lethal. Just do that, that, and that. Very nice. Okay. Let's see what we have next. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely getting better versus Priest. You can see how the weapons, like the weapons really made a big difference. So, I think, yeah, keep a weapon in your opening hand. Like someone else asked in the comments, like how to beat the Priest, and I think weapons is the key. So we have a Hunter. Cool Taskmaster is nice against the Web Spinners. I think if I was going second, I would keep a whirlwind, but I'm just afraid, like running out of cards, going first here. So let's toss it for now. See if we can get a like some more solid stuff, like a harvest golem or something. But no such luck. But hey, these two cards are not bad either. So we got the good finisher. Could be quite. Oh, see, this is perfect. Cruel Taskmaster is so good versus Hunters. Do that. Let's see here. Pretty nice hand. Can deal with pretty much anything that he could do here. Well, he did nothing. So that means that I played the Almost Smith. Let's get that out. See what's next. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this game. Very good start.
can't even imagine what could go wrong here. Well, I guess you could play Animal Companion, huck at the piggy and kill the armor smith, but even then, that's not... I guess he agreed with me. Okay, well, let's play a third game and keep the comeback rolling. Let's see here. Worthy opponent, it's always nice. Okay. So I'm not really seeing that many Sue's lately anymore. I already have some early stuff that I can play in case it's Sue, but let's keep the Execute. Just in case, you know. It's a handlock, which is likely to be. And even versus Sue, well, Execute is not bad. And kill like a Doom God or something. Um, so I don't have a free drop, so I don't think I want to coin anything out. I'm probably gonna, you know, play a two drop next turn and then coin into Corcoran. Alright, so it is a hand luck. Seeing a lot of them. Which is surprising because there are still a decent amount of hunters around. But I guess these new version of. Uh, Hand luck like, do a little better versus hunters than the older versions. Okay. So I think I just coin out a Corcoran. Let's do this. Just kind of make him scared. And I can always like whirlwind execute something. Shadow Flame, okay. Hey, it's a 2 for 2, so that's fair enough. Let's play another core one. Keep the pressure up. Sludge Belcher. That's not great. Oh, I'm tempted to execute it. Do I do it? Thing is, what else can I do? Okay, I could play low fab. And then he'll probably kill my Corcoran with that. And then I can Acrolyte Whirlwind next turn to finish off the first form. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. Safe to execute for a giant. What do you got? Could he play? Yeah, I think he could play a mountain giant now. I have no time for games. Oh, Sylvanas. Well, that's not what I wanted to see at all. Uh, let's see, how do we do this then? Hmm, that's really annoying. I don't even know here. Yeah. Not an acolyte, whirlwind doesn't make as much sense. Oh, is there a way I can... Well... Hmm. If I do... Ah, no, that's... This is so bad. Okay, take that. That.
that at least get some cards out of my acolyte. And now there's nothing too great to steal. That Sylvanas though was just so inconvenient. Okay. Oh, very nice. I still have my Execute, happy about that. I'd love to get a Black Knight though, or second Execute. Or some kind of weapon, you know? That would be nice too. Okay, I can deal with that pretty easy with Slam. So let's slam first. Sludge spell shot, huh? Oh, Death Spite. Could be useful later, especially if I get a Gromash. So I think... Sludge spell shot is pretty good. Like, he can kill it with what he has on his board and have one minion survive. But... I think it beats my other options. So let's play the Sludge Belcher. Could also have played the Death Spite, but probably gonna save that for next turn. He doesn't have that many cards. Actually, I have more cards than him, which is kind of funny. Granted, he has a little more on the board than I do, but not much. Now I wouldn't mind a Spellbreaker. Power overwhelming. Only four cards in his hand. Uh, let's see. Spellbreaker. Spellbreaker. I don't... I just... I don't have an easy way of dealing one damage though. It kind of makes it a bit more lackluster, but maybe spell break a next turn, death spite this turn, and then I can, you know, spell break, uh, finish it off with the death rattle. So what would I want to do this turn? Death spite and kill that. Play. Maybe a Harvest Garden. Or could even just buy a Loot Holder and pass. What now? I would just kill with that. I need to get rid of that one. The Harvest Garden will do that for me. Oh, well, let's see here. I might not even spell break it. Depends on what he plays. Like if he plays a defender of Arcus, would, that would actually make a lot of sense because then he wouldn't lose a minion. Then again, if he played that, I could just kill both with Death Spike, so wouldn't be that great. He's probably looking for some molten giants or something. I hope he never finds them. Sunwalker. Oh, come on, Black Knight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's nice. Am I am I getting too low? Should I play the? Because I'm afraid of like Leroy and stuff. He already played one power overwhelming, but. I don't mind getting a bit more life here. Being at 22 instead of 20 seems safer. I mean, you might say getting the Black Knight was a lucky top deck, and it was, 
But on the other hand, I mean, I have been through over help of my deck, so the chance of me having a Black Knight at that point was pretty high. <laughs> I was lucky. Now I could use a Gromas soon. Shouldn't be too hard to draw it, since I have two double card draw in my hand. I can get through the rest of my deck relatively quickly. Okay, what are you gonna do? I think he's considering Siphon Soul on the Black Knight. It looks like he's never gonna have a super full hand again, so I don't necessarily need to save Spellbreaker for um, Twilight Drake, but could also be used it to get through something, a taunt, if I get close to lethal. I'm not sure what to play here. Maybe draw a card first, see what we get. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's uh kill the first form of that. Then play some stuff. And I'm a little scared of AoE, so that's why I played the loot hoarder rather than the money. And also because I want to get my Gromash to finish him off. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm definitely executing one, but let's draw a card first. Five of wax. Let's execute. Five of wax. Play pretty much everything. So we have Leroy, Faceless, that's 1220, Soulfire. That would kill me. But not if I am up. Okay, let's go for it. He played both of his Moltens, so him getting low on life is not dangerous for me. And I guess if he plays Hellfire, then he only has three life left. Of course, he could also heal somehow with like a Farsi or something, but looking decent. and soul. Not almost all his mana. Could play like a shadow flame on the... No. Probably kill that then. So then I have six damage. Another five evil axe. Is there anything I could draw that would give me lethal? No. There isn't. I'm not as close to dying either myself. So let's just keep doing damage here. Yeah. Okay, do I play the... Hmm, he can... Does he have... I don't really want to give him that information. Okay, you know what, let's just... 
But I'm just thinking, like, if he gets a taunt up, and I have, like, an Artyom Commander, I can't play Spellbreaker, Artyom Commander, and 5 Evil Wax. There's definitely an argument to be made for playing the 5 Evil Wax there. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Iron Beak? Okay, she's gonna clear the board. I guess you considered silencing the... the Acolyte. To try and avoid me throwing a card. Okay, so I can execute one of those. Should avoid dying. Let's kill that. Let's see what do we get here. I might get lethal. Okay, got lethal. So we do this, and this, and uh, have a very nice run with the Temple Warrior. All right. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time, bye bye!